And we're back with more Metroid Prime. Show me the beam. Show me the beam. Show me the goods. So we gotta make our way up to, uh, Vendrana Drifts. With a plasma rifle? Because most of what we're doing now is just collecting some extra, extra power-ups. That checks out. Because how are we doing on collectibles, by the way? Do you, well, have, a, do you have a percentage or how close we are? Well, uh, we're gonna have... By the time we finish, mm -hmm. we will only need ten more missiles and one more E-Tank. Now, is that ten separate expansions or ten missiles? Ten separate expansions, I should say, yes. Oh, okay. Because okay. here is the penultimate energy tank. Holy crap! This okay. Right, this right there. It needed uh, to be melted by ice. M melted by plasma. Yes, by plasma. Okay, there was ice that needed to be melted. There we go. Yeah, that's it. No, that's alright. I've already had a flub already in this episode. You're allowed to have one within the first five minutes. Let's just flub the whole thing. Well, welcome back to Halo 3. Welcome back to Metroid Prime Hunters, the best game in the Metroid franchise. Welcome back to Metroid... No, the same M. Welcome back to Mario Kart Double Dash. Welcome back to Sonic the Hedgehog 2007. You know what? Welcome back to F-Zero United. F-Zero forever. Featuring Duke Nukem from the Devil May Cry series. <laughs> okay, that one hurts my brain. It's time to blow up those Sparta assholes. <laughs> Rules of nature. <laughs> that's not! That's not! Uh, no! Duke, get out of here. I think he has Alzheimer's. Get him out of here. Rip and tear until it is missile acquired. No, you're not... Hold, hold on, did we put him in a Markov chain generator? <laughs> well, where is he getting this dialogue? Oh yeah, we put a randomizer into the new Duke Nukem game. Honestly, made it better. Big brother, big brother. Oh, hold on, we accidentally put a dating sim in there. Get out of bed, John. Get, <laughs> get out of bed, John. Yeah, that would just sounds like... That, I was doing the... That was Plumber still for a time! That's what I was doing, yes. <laughs> Oh, and the only reason I knew it was that is because of the AVGN episode where he was like, Get out of bed, John! Get out of bed! Oh, that that's, for a missile tank. Wow. That's, oddly enough, a really quotable game. It is! It's insane. Help me, help! Run, Jake, run! <laughs> Take your damn clothes off! My favorite is, we know she liked to meet him. She <laughs> knows she liked to meet him. But does John know she liked to meet him? Oh, now you've done it. Now you've really done it. I'm wanted in five states for hijacking fiction. <laughs> what the fuck what the was fuck that? that? <laughs> oh, Lord, I haven't thought about that game in a hot minute. But yeah, uh, you're right. It is quotable. It's It's like... The only the kind of Terabad that exists in 1993. I'm just starting to think of... Yeah, I wasn't playing any games in 93. It's, it's one of those shitty passive-aggressive kinds of games, too. Yeah, it and is. It's like... Where it's the high, only, high on its own fumes. The only way to play the game correctly and to get and to see the full ending is for the is to t pick, you know, the really disgusting, you know, perverted ones. And the game yeah. gets you shit for it. It's like, oh, I, I can't believe all the terrible things you're making Jake do. This is, this oh, is disgusting. Man. Terrible. Why would you even think that you should get the worst score in history? Like, it's, this is a critical path. What do you want from me? Gaming's first moral choice system. <laughs> Screw off Cole McGrath. We're here with plumbers to wear ties. Like the big three-way uh, uh, branch off is: uh, does does, she, does Jane get the job? Does she not get the job? Or does she take off her clothes and do something? Else? <laughs> well, the only way to do it is for her to take off her clothes. Makes perfect sense. I mean, <laughs> oh hey, another chose artifact that we needed the plasma beam and the X-ray visor for. It's kind of the real reason why we came down here in the first place. To be honest, it's. Uh, I mean, that's okay. It's clean up. So I don't like the backtracking so much. At least when we get to Prime Two, we'll be, the, oh, stuff here, stuff here, and then we'll probably cover more backtracking when we get the rest of everything towards the end of the game. The Temple Keys. Okay. Check life support system. So don't come down here if you're dying. Hey Frank, you dead? 
Uh, oh, life systems, life support systems, okay. So uh, I, th I think I'm alive. Hey, Fred, are you alive? Mine keeps going off. Li oh! And we never saw him again. We don't know what happened. What do you mean you don't know what happened? You were right there. Yeah, I was right there, and he just died, and then the little ball rolled away. I don't know what happened, boss. I heard a lot of shooting and a lot of screaming. I didn't see anything, but when I looked over, a little ball rolled away. God, I'm I am all for lazy bone pirates. <laughs> I think they are. How did she get the Chozo keys? Well, I dropped them. You you dropped them? Don't worry, man. I made a door that needs heat, right? What if she has heat? Uh, well, I put, I hid it behind. A wall of ice. Okay, any other bright ideas you'd like to bring to the table? Alright. We, uh... Actually, for one of the Chozo artifacts, it is deep, 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 deep in the Phazon mines. Oh. Like, it, like the very last one you get is deep in the Phazon mines. Like... Like some feet away from the final boss column. Oh Jesus! Kinda. It's it is it's it's deep in there. Do you think it it was there before and then the phase no. took over? Uh, well, uh, th there's no way to tell because you gotta like you know roll through here, go into here. That's, mm. that's how you get it. But here's what I'm thinking. All right, we finally got one of the chosen artists. Oh, Tim. Why do I hear clanking down the phase on mines? Uh, Tim, where's the artifact? T t um, we never had. Tim, we yeah. had the artifact. No, we didn't. We had an artifact. We didn't have the artifact. It is currently not in your hands. Where's the artifact, Tim? It, it, it certainly didn't fall into that huge chasm. Well, good. That was... <laughs> uh, Tim's not that bright. It'd be like, well, guess what? Go get it! Uh, yeah, Tim's on that bright. <laughs> yeah, it's down the big chasm, and he tries to go for a push, but he, he's like, he starts from like, all the way back here. It's like, it's in that chasm. <laughs> Step out of the way. No! <sighs> can't find good help these days. He didn't even drop it, I did. John! Well, okay. I like you, John. I didn't like Tim. <laughs> No! <laughs> so many reasons why the space pirates suck. <laughs> no team synergy for one. Yeah, that doesn't help their their case at all. I mean, if they were a complete unit like the DK crew, shit would get done. But no, they don't have a cool rap. They don't. I mean, if they did. God, I don't even know what they would rap about because he's keep the failing. leader of the bunch. You know him well. Actually, I, I don't know Master Ridley all that well. I, I mean, just. I mean, I just started working today. <laughs> he seems like a cool dude. I know more about what his insides look like than his outsides. I mean, I'm the one that gave him the robotic exoskeleton, so um, well, you know. That was that was you. Oh. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Hey, you should have seen when he woke up. It was just. Like, he immediately tried to, you know, clasp my neck, and I was like, Sir, do you know where you are? And he just went, <laughs> And I was like, Sir, I don't I don't believe you understand where yeah, you are right now. Yeah, I, I, I remember that day I was on the engineering team. Uh, the, we uh, we plugged him in, and then his eyes snapped open, and he just just starts screaming. Screaming bloody murder. Just, 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 ah! Ah! Ah, Ooh, just, just wouldn't go on for like five hours. He just kept screaming and twitching and writhing until finally I just had to cut off his entire central nervous system and now he can't feel anything. You know, hey, um, so I was taking a look at the chart because you and I both worked on uh, on uh, uh, Space Pirate Ridley here. R right, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Where did the order go for the painkillers? Oh, well, that, that, that what, uh, well, it should be, it's in the case file, I mean, it's... Yeah, I, I could. It, it was. I, I, I could. Either I gave it to you or you gave it to me. One of us put in the order, right? I mean, we, we had to. I mean, there was like only three days left of, of his pain medication. We had to get a reorder, right? Did it come in? Dude, that was two weeks ago. You're, well, you're telling me that Master Ridley has gone two weeks without his pain medication? Um. So. Um. Or, okay, alright, alright, alright. Hmm. So. Uh, uh, fuck. 
we need to get a lot of Advil right now. We need to get a lot of Advil. But but be careful. It has to be children's Advil, because you know he can't do pills. Well, well, that, 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 that's okay. Just get, get get whatever Advil. I don't care what it is. I don't okay, care. Okay, I don't care. Okay, okay, I don't okay, care okay. if it's yeah, if it's exactly. a tablet. I don't care if it's liquid gels. Just uh, if it's if it's Advil. If it's if it's if it's something pain medication. Just it. get it in. Get, put it in the vat. I have expired ibuprofen. <laughs> put it in there. Okay. All right. Yeah, mortar and pestle. Mortar and pestle. Come on. All right. Now we need to add the one thing that makes everything better. Hot tea. Face on. Yes, that's right. Oh, that's for it. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Hey, uh, can, can you can somebody heat that up? That little Bunsen burner there with phase on it. Uh, sure, but I don't know. No, trust me, it, it makes sense. Ah, thank you. ah, the sweet smell of space mold. Guys, the vat's talking to me. Well, did you respond? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't think it was anything I, I could respond to. Be a good host. I mean, geez, did what does it want? It's it. it I, I don't know what it wants. It it just says death, kill, hate. Death. Oh. Eat. Hate. Death. It must hate. really have the essence of Master Ridley. Okay, oh, yeah, what? just pour it in there and mix it up. Oh, yeah, I hear him say that all the time. Death. Hate. Eat. Death. Hate. Eat. It's perfect. Is that the episode title? Death. Hate. Eat. <laughs> it's Ridley's version of Eat, Pray, Love. It's kind of funny how death is first. <laughs> <laughs> It's like first you die terribly by some by some huntress bounty hunter, mm -hmm. then uh, you, you you hate because you you feel the hatred for her, and then well can't do much on an empty stomach so I might, might as well eat. Yeah. Just, you know, just grab some McDonald's on your way there, yeah. And, yeah. or yeah, mixed space pirate or something like that. I don't know. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, I'm stealing it. <laughs> Ridley stole our chicken McNuggets. What? How does he? Okay, never mind. The taming of Thrones continues, barring unforeseen setbacks. It can be installed on Phase Online, but you're gonna... it's it's a it's a bunch of rocks that are alive. You're gonna put it to work? Hmm. What on earth could you put on a rock monster's resume? Solid foundation. Uh, would make a good house. Rocks my world. Well, I mean, you don't have to put that on the report, but, you know, if if that happens to be your bag... He rocks. <laughs> just just a whole bunch of rocks. Like, he he, he, he rocks. He's just... He just rocks. He's, don't he's don't just... give him a big head. Don't grovel in front of him. Don't, don't gravel, gravel in front, front of him. him. That's what I meant to say. Had to go back for that joke because I missed it on the way. What on earth is happening? It's just the security drones. No, I mean with the episode. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's it's. <laughs> there's not a whole lot going on. Not not much to front the story. Because whatever it is, it's hilarious. We got we got the cool bad uh, badass awesome stuff. That is. We got, nice. we got the visor. We need to see most things. I mean, we have all the beams. That's cool. So I mean, there's not a whole lot left to talk about in terms of you know uh, furthering the story. Metroid Prime! Metroid Prime, everybody! Oh, yeah! yeah. Every, just... Everybody go buy it. Hold on, how much is it on eBay right now? Ungodly expensive because it's a first-party Nintendo game? Do you want to know expensive? Try Metroid Prime 2. Actually, yeah. What, what are the prices currently of all three of the Metroid Prime games? Not the trilogy. Each individual game. I got you, man. Let's uh, take a little trip to eBay here. Because I know Metroid Prime 2 is, like, stupid expensive. Well, there's also variants. Because you got the one that had a Walmart sticker on it, you got the one that had a Target wow. sticker on it. Wow. Uh, let's see. So... Uh, I hate seeing this. Ugh. Sorry, I just see somebody with a third-party case. You know, a, a big CD case that can hold, you know, a PlayStation game. And then they put a GameCube disc in it. Uh, so, Metroid Prime, the Player's Choice Edition. Which is version 1.02, I do believe. Original game plus the manual, 32 bucks. Sounds about right. Uh, Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. Uh, 17.99. Because it's on a Wii disc, which are pretty cheap to make. Uh, Metroid Prime, not the Player's Choice Edition. Uh, 39.99. That's mm -hmm. actually fairly high. That's not, that's not too bad. It's not too bad, but like, I mean, for, for for a GameCube game, let alone a beloved GameCube game, that is true. It, it that's a, that's a steal. That's a steal. 
Metroid Prime 2 Echoes Black Label. Black Label, yep. $59.99. Mm-hmm. Oof. Again, doesn't seem that bad. See, I could just I could just pelt this Shigoth with plasma energy and it just kills it. Do people really not care about Metroid Primes? Now, check the pr check the trilogy on Wii. Okay, uh, but first I want to mention Metroid Prime GameCube bonus Metroid Prime Echoes Disc. 50 bucks. Now, do you want Metroid Prime 1 and half, uh, like, 15% of Metroid Prime 2? Well, there you go. Metroid Prime Trilogy. Then look up Hunters. Well, if you get the Steelbook Edition, it's 130. Yeah, there you go. Uh, but for the regular Wii version, we're talking about 60. It's about 20 bucks each. It's not too bad. No, it's not too bad. Uh, again, again, for a beloved, uh, you know, now beloved series of games here. Metroid Prime Hunters, on the other hand, that might be a miss. That might be a mistress. Thirty dollars. Oh, well, okay. Buy it now. Sure, it's not the. Oh, sure, it's, sure, it's not the demo you're talking about. Wait for it. Hold on. I see. I see a little sticker. Oh, that's Wi-Fi connection. Okay, never mind. Yeah, so apparently nobody really cares enough to jack up the price of Metroid games. Well, that's good. That's yeah, that's amazing, yeah, actually. Yeah, how much is Metroid Prime Pinball, the one I'm missing? Okay, let's let's find out. I would laugh if this reached over 60 even $100. Uh-huh, yeah. Metroid Prime Pinball. Jesus Christ! Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> well, look, this missile expansion was here all along. Oh, and we just had to melt the ice. Yeah. Beautiful. I mean, we could take off our helmet and just use our breath, but, I mean... Uh, that, that would take too long. Gotta take off the helmet, can't do that! Can't wait till after the game! So, uh, $36. Oh. Compared to, like, $45. Boy, they really went down in price, what the fuck?! Yeah, <laughs> Is it because- is it because of Metroid Dread, you think? Maybe. Because Metroid Dread reinvigorated, uh, interest in the franchise. But with that, it should be, like, jumping up in price should because these are- even more, then. These are DS games and Wii games, they're going offline here soon. How on earth did these go down in price? But if you get something by, let's say, Dragon Quest DS. It, what? Wait, really? Depends on which Dragon Quest. If it's nine, it's probably not as much, but if it's like four or five or even six, there you go. Six is sixty dollars. There you go. Uh, Dragon Quest nine is forty-five dollars. Mm-hmm. Dragon Quest 7. You see it here for $70. 7? 7? 70. You have 7 to 70? Yeah. Fragments of the Forgotten Past. It's a long game. Uh, yeah, I liked, I liked it, but it just got way too long and way too confusing. I got lost and I was like, oh, no getting back from that. Yeah. It's tragic, really. God, that, that makes no sense because as soon as Nintendo uh, released the news that they were shutting down... DS, 3DS, and Wii shops, or Wii U shops, everything just skyrocketed in price. Maybe the market cooled down a little bit. God, I hope so. Because there's some games that are extremely rare. Like, good luck trying to get Yokai Watch 3 that's not like over $200. Well, Niskel, why would I ever want to get Yokai Watch 3? Let alone one or two. No, no, no. I, Explain to me why would I want Yo Yokai Watch? Because it's rare. Oh, but okay. you're not a collector. So that's, I don't like Yokai Watch. Well, that was the hilarious thing. I was looking on a couple <laughs> Reddits about uh, rare games that will be even harder to find when everything shuts down. And you got the Fire Emblem. Oh, wait. Um, Echoes. Echoes. Yeah. The, uh, the, the triple pack, they call it. Yeah. That one's like impossible because it's like $200 when it came out. <laughs> and now it's even more. Uh, but one of the ones came up was Yokai Watch 3, I believe a non-reprint version of Ever Oasis was on there, and surprisingly Donkey Kong Country 3D. Really? It's in the higher margin, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it's kind of, you know, I don't have like a lot of rare games, I just, I just get games that are fun that I like. Mm -hmm. Every so often I stumble upon a game that, oh yeah, I guess it is super rare. Uh, one of my apparently holy grails is God Hand. God Hand is expensive. I, I, because I got it when it came out. That'll do it. When it came out, Cloverfield was our or Cloverfield. Clover <laughs> Studio was already dead. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's why it's so rare. 
Actually, one Holy Grail that you used to have, I believe, was Sola to Robo. Yeah. The hard times came upon harder decisions. It happens. It happens. Mm -hmm. I had to make a lot of hard decisions, but that's okay. I still have what I have, and I'm at a point in my life where I don't need to do that anymore. And thank God you got me my Holy Grail. Still in its shrink wrap. I'm calling my debt back. I need that back, by the way. Fuck! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, don't don't give that shit to me. I don't want to catch anything from it. <laughs> well, it wasn't shrink wrap. It's fine. Ooh. You, are, are you sure it won't permeate through the fucking... <laughs> oh, it, it might give you, like, I don't know, asbestos or something like that, but it won't give you anything life-threatening. Right, I hate this jump. Show me. This is a nasty jump. Ooh. Gotta get over there. But it's ah. just... Not only is there, like, an awkward piece of, like land right there that messes up my jump so I have to like go all the way to the right basically but this is a pretty uh sickening jump and the jump over to that door is sickening as well guess you got a missile expansion out of it though so does Samus have feet? yes but not that you can see okay okay here we go alright alright no! Oh, God! I honestly thought you had it until you said no. It's a really irritating jump. I hate it. It's 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 so mean. It's all part of the challenge, friend. Now I, I can see why this game isn't as much because these fucking <laughs> jumps suck. Because Metroid Prime actually sucks. Who would pay eighty bucks for a terrible jumping not seen since Jurassic Park Trespasser? Actually, speaking of the Metroid series, I'm curious about the the Game Boy Advance ones. No! And while you're, while you're, while you're sitting there uh, crying in agony, allow me to take a look at Metroid Fusion. <laughs> Nothing in life is fair, Metroid, Metroid. Oh, perfect. The manual is $33. Oh, great. The game is 15 How the fuck is the manual more expensive? <laughs> Because, yeah. Yeah, because everybody threw theirs out, yeah. I assume. More people keep their carts than their manuals. Metroid Fusion, not working, will not boot. $33. The fuck is wrong with people? I still got the ROM then, because, you know, hey, that's why I got it. I guess. Uh, Metroid Zero Mission. Metroid Zero Mission had a blue cart? Or is that a repo card? That's a repro. Aw, oh, man. Well, $20. I'll take it. Hmm. G -g -g My dude. <laughs> My dude. I'm gonna cry. What are you doing? I'm, I'm going to shed tears and scream like a two-year-old. Metroid 2. $35, really? For the Game Boy? Yeah, for the Game Boy. Uh, the manual is only... 18. Huh. Well, now for the real big one. Samus Returns. Ha! $41. Ah, <laughs> I'm glad I looked up! Ah, I'm glad! Ah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, visualized on screen. Pain. Well, now we gotta check the, you know, the last one. Yeah. What am I missing? The most, the most, uh... It's, it's, of course, the Metroid game that costs the most. It's it's the most uh, sought-after rare collector's item. Of course, talking about Metroid Other M. That's gotta be at least, you know, $79.99. I might actually throw my phone if I look up this price, and it is more than the other Metroid. I mean, think about it. I, I don't think anybody bought it because it, it had such a bad reputation for being terrible, and, yeah, yeah you know, nobody would have bought it, so, of course, it has to be, like... 70, 80 bucks, you know, on, on, on eBay, right? What do you got? Seven dollars. <laughs> Re really? And that's the cheapest Metroid game? That's, that's fucked. It's cheaper to get Metroid Other M than it is to get Metroid Zero Mission on the Wii U shop. You want to know what's funnier? What? It says complete inbox. Complete inbox! <laughs> Never opened, never played, never given a shit about! <laughs> I can't make this jump! 
Would you please just get the goddamn jump? I'm trying to make this jump! And I had problems on practice too, so it's not like, you know, Oh, your DJ's choking again. It's like, yes, I am choking, but I choked when I was trying to not choke! Ah, <laughs> oh, let's see. Conception 2. Trying to see if one of the crappier <laughs> games in my collection is actually a collector's item now. That was... Oh, I hated that game. I know. That's why I decided to look it up. I gave it a chance, too. I gave it, I gave it as big a chance as I could. That spit in my face. $40. Even with the soundtrack and everything? Yeah, actually, yep. It included that soundtrack. Whew, got it! Oh, finally! Jeez! Yes! Oh, duh, God, I was duh, going duh, down duh, a dark alley. Duh. Anyway, missile pack. Tacked on like five extra minutes to this I didn't need. So I'm a little upset about it. I'm a little upset that I did all this just for a stupid fucking missile no! expansion. And I just kept jumping around. And I kept missing. Because apparently there's like a like a ball with rounded edges as, uh, that just serves his feet down here. And I can't fucking believe this shouldn't. I, 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 I was, I was quite... W-L like a ball. <laughs> Yes, B A W L, because that's what I'm doing! <laughs> and I tried to jump, and it didn't let me! And it took me way too long, and I'm wasting so much time, and everyone's gonna be making fun of me, and you're laughing at me, and I'm laughing at oh, me, and Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I am so laughing at you. <laughs> For every one of my faults that I don't take out on the cutting room floor, you're allowed to laugh at me for. See, I was just waiting for the real quick crossfade, like five milliseconds, just like, wow, first try! I have no crossfades here. I have not done a single crossfade yet. Pure, know. unaltered content. Undoctored footage of sucking at Metroid Pro I'm kidding. Your gameplay gave me indigestion. <laughs> <laughs> Well, just have some Pepto Bismol, I suppose. <laughs> we don't have that beam. Oh, it's not a beam; it's a suit. And then Samus comes out in a hot pink oh. suit. Oh god! Ugh. Puts out the beam cannon. No, wait! <laughs> just an entire. <laughs> it's like putting yogurt in a tailpipe. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Ew. Oh, you know, just trying to shake it all out, and it just keeps coming. So the Federation tried to make the Pepto-Bismol suit. It, 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 it didn't work. It didn't work. Sorry about your luck. Try the, try the Advil suit, but uh, Ridley uh, mm. stole the plans of that one. We ha I think we had to grind it up for him. Master Ridley, you doing okay? He's not breathing. Was he allergic to Advil? Oh, oh sorry, my bad. <laughs> Master Ridley, you alright? How'd the Advil suit go? It was uh, not uh, the best. Uh, Ooh, it says here on your chart you're allergic to acetaminophen. I am. That's that, that's, probably... that's making me quite upset. Could you make me breathe faster? Uh, yes, sir. You're turning him into a balloon! Oh. 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 Pirate log, uh, Buster oh, Ridley. Uh, oh, he, it's severe. It's uh, on my face. Oh. He. It, oh, that's an eyeball on my ear. Ew! Ew, God! I swallowed some. <laughs> 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 well, uh, I'll go get the Swiffer and the mop bucket. We'll clean up what's left of Master Ridley. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Next time on Metroid Prime. Oh. I think we've got about all we need to get because we have all the power bombs now. Oh, nice. So, we are going to be heading into the Phazon Mines for good. <laughs> <laughs>